Hello all. I'm going to speak again on a topic tonight very close to what I'm doing. Persecution of Christians in the Middle East. The time now is 18.25 on Sunday the 13th of March 2016. Make it a quick short video. I'll quickly upload it later tonight outside in, in uh, McDonald's or another place. But I'll put this forth. This is very, very real. Christian minorities in in the Middle East today, in countries like Syria, Iraq, Egypt, Iran, Turkey, to a certain extent, and other places like that, are being persecuted very seriously. It is literally a genocide, like it was during World War Two, with the Jews and again on the Turkish Armenian groups with the Ottoman Empire over the first part of the 20th century. These two holocausts are coming back and we must put our hand out, reach out for help. We have to sign these petitions, put them forth to the government and, and plea to the governments to protect the Christians because the birth of Christianity was in the places that where this is happening in Palestine, in Turkey, in Syria, in Iraq, in Libya. All those places were the birth of Christianity. And the places of the birth of Christianity were losing all the Christians and we're getting Islamic followers. Islam didn't start until 630 AD, over a period of 100 years, when the Prophet Muhammad interpreted the Quran and they had two schisms in the middle of that, the Sunni and the Shia, which come from two prophets after Muhammad. I won't go into that now, but what I'm talking about is the persecution of Christians is horrendous. Churches are being built, burnt down. Christians are being slaughtered. Christians are being taxed. This is end time material. We're going to another holocaust. Very similar to the Jews in World War II and also the Armenians with the Ottoman Empire in the first part of the 20th century, if not worse. Let us all understand this and sign these petitions and flood the politicians with petitions, as many petitions and many signatures and many calls we can get. I don't believe in protesting, because protesting won't work, work a great lot, but the way we protest is by signing petitions, making phone calls to politicians, writing to our local MP, speaking to the news media, speaking on talkback radio. I do that every now and again. This is the only way we'll get it across. Thank you very much and just read and take care of what I've written. Bye for now.